Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a speed test comparison between the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the iPhone XS Max. And the iPhone XS Max is powered by Apple A12 Bionic chipset with 4 GB of RAM, while the iPhone 13 Pro Max is powered by Apple A15 Bionic chipset with 6 GB of RAM. Yes, and the back is made up of glass and the frame is made up of stainless steel. We have a flat edges on the iPhone 13 series. While on the iPhone XS Max, we have a rounded edge and you can see on the bottom, we does not have any headphone jack on both these two devices and both phones also has a dual speakers as well. On the back, we have a dual cameras on the XS Max versus a triple cameras on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and both phones has a 12 megapixel main camera. We have optical image stabilization while on the 13 Pro Max, we have a sensor shift image stabilization. Also, we have 12 megapixel ultra wide on both these two devices. And lastly, we have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens which give you a 3x optical zoom on the 13 Pro Max. In this video, I'm going to show you how much a difference between the iPhone XS Max versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if you have an iPhone XS Max, what it looks like is going to iPhone 13 Pro Max. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. And guys, and both phones is completely off. Now let's start off with the boot up test. Here we go. Logo is came up first on the 13 Pro Max. Again, we have iOS 15.2 on both phones, latest software. And that is why the iPhone is always more optimized as compared to the Android. But now Android is also more improved as compared to before. iPhone 13 Pro Max a little bit more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the Access Max. About one second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. And guys, now let's talk about the displays between these devices. On the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have a 6.7 inch Full HD Super Retina XDR display with ProMotion. We have 120Hz refresh rate on the iPhone 13 Pro series. While on the iPhone XS Max, we have a 6.5 inch Full HD Super Retina OLED display with 60Hz refresh rate. We also have a big Apple notch on the iPhone XS Max, which is much smaller on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And you also, you can see at the bottom chain, it is also more smaller on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. Also, we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones. Now, let's start off with the phone dialer. That is exactly the same. The display on the 13 Pro Max, it is a little bit more warmer as compared to the XS Max. So next on the list is the settings. Again, exactly the same because we have iOS 15.2 on both phones. Now let's go to the accessibility. Now let's go to the motion and you can see we have a limit frame rate while on the XS Max, we does not have that. We have 60 Hertz option on the 13 Pro Max. So now let's check out some more application. Now let's open Amazon shopping and that is super, super faster on the 13 Pro Max and the XS Max, it is also right behind there. Not a huge difference. Now let's see the scrolling. Yes, I can see the difference between 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz, but the iPhone 13 Pro Max looks much smoother as compared to the Access Max. Now let's check out some games application. Now let's see that how much a difference between the Apple A15 versus the Apple A12. We have a three generation difference. Now let's open Instagram. A little more faster on the 13 Pro Max. Now let's open Pinout. And you can see the game app loading time and the 13 Pro Max is beating the Access Max. And now let's open Snapchat. That is looks exactly the same. Now let's open Spotify. And the Spotify, it is much faster on the 13 Pro Max. Now let's open Subwoofer. More games. And again, Apple A15 is showing a speed. But the iPhone XS Max, it is also right behind there. About one or two second difference there. Now let's open Temper N2. The Temper N2, again, a little more faster on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Huge difference in this application because of the GPU of the Apple A15 Bionic and you can see huge difference and now the XS Max it is also done 4 or 5 second difference there now let's open PUBG Mobile very heavy game and Apple A15 versus Apple A12 we have a 6 core GPU versus a 4 core I think on the XS Max about 1 second difference there also we have smooth graphics with 90 FPS on the 13 Pro Max because we have 120Hz while on the XS Max we have an X Team option I think now let's opening up the tutor and the tutor open up more faster on the 13 Pro Max as well 
and now let's open Zedge and exactly the same so now let's see the scrolling this way we can see the real difference between these two devices 60 hertz and 120 hertz yes you can now see the difference in this video because this is a 30 fps video and last time launching the cameras on both phones default camera application now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one now let's open camera that is faster on the 13 pro max as compared to the access max also we have a macro mode only 13 pro max and you can see you can take very close up shots which is not really available on the access max also we have 3x optical zoom also we have a cinematic mode which is a portrait mode in video and you can see so the camera performance it is improved a little bit on the 13 pro max but as far as the colors and everything it is very similar on both phones yes the 13 pro max is a more better phone in okay guys now let's see internet browser speed i am to for safari internet browser on both phones now let's open wikipedia same wi-fi network faster on the 13 pro max so now let's see the scrolling and that is is again more smoother on the 13 pro max while i am scrolling same thing with zooming in and out no issue whatsoever but again we have extra the smoothness on the 13 pro max now let's open english and that is again a little more faster on the 13 pro max not a huge difference let's see the scrolling again i can see the difference very easily because i am a 120 hertz user and guys now let's see ram man on both phones we have 4 gp of ram versus a 6 gp of ram on the 13 pro max also we have ios 15.2 on both phones so we have the latest version phone dialer no refresh now let's see settings same result amazon shopping no refresh now let's open instagram also you can follow me on instagram as well let's see pin out same result no refresh now let's open snapchat same result now let's open spotify same sub suffer no refresh also on the speakers it is one of the best on the iphone 13 pro max so here's the speakers on both phones and here is a 13 pro max with max volume and you can see very loud speakers so here is the access max not as loud as 13 pro max now let's open temper n2 same result let's open pubg mobile same now let's open tutor same result zedge and last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see and cast over i have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the iphone 13 pro max is beating the iphone access mac only i would say in the game app loading time i would say that in system based application and both phones is performed very similar because of the apple optimization in terms of the ram image wise both phones is performed really good in the ram image man not a single refresh on both phones also you can see the cameras on both phones and the cameras on the 13 pro max is much bigger as compared to the iphone xs max you can see the difference and you can see we have dual cameras versus the triple cameras also we have lidar scanner on the iphone xs max we have a 3174 mh battery size while on the iphone 13 pro max we have a 4352 mh battery size and the battery life on the iphone 13 pro max is one of the best in the industry no one can defeat the iphone 13 pro max in terms of the battery life so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the iphone 13 pro max versus the iphone xs max you can see the difference iphone 13 pro max is clearly a better phone as compared to the xs max let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video Peace out.